Welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. We're here at Angkor Wat. We just got freed in. Things are looking up. Heading back out in the garden to kill the rest of these baddies. I feel bad killing the bugs. I guess they aren't evil bugs. Yes. <laughs> I think there's a couple bad bushes up there, too. Bad bush. I'm pretty sure it's true, though. I think that there were a couple. Okay. Yeah, those two. Aha. Bad and bushy. There's no such thing as a bad bush. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go back. Kill that last enemy that we couldn't get uh, with Young Will. I swear that thing. I saw the sparkle, but it. Yeah, I don't think it's in the area. Yeah. Frickin' maze. The heck is it? A little further that way. Up here. Yeah. Aha! Die! A little late. Could've used that before. Oh, well. Seriously. Take it. Only five more health increases for the whole rest of the game. I know. We're really starting to get buff here. About to have max stats soon. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we're just going to keep making our way up in here. So the interior of Anchor Watt, you know, a little sketchy. Nice. Jesus. We're actually maxed out on the little red gems again. Or the red jewels, I guess you call it. No, they, I guess they're little gems. But they basically represent your extra lives in the game. And you can't get more than nine extra lives and then 99 little gems on top of it. Yeah, I don't know, because we lost one life and then we stayed at nine, so they might just keep racking up. No, the reason why I went right back to 9 is because we collected one more gem and then we got a ninth life again because we had 99 racked ah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, beautiful. Yeah, totally. That guy stomp us? Yes. <laughs> well, you can almost have 10 because you've got 9 and 99 That's correct. gems. Okay. Use the fact power. <laughs> hmm. Yep. Yeah. BS all these enemies. It's okay though. Oh. It's not okay. Hmm. Okay, well, one of them you can get without the dark power. The other one you can't, apparently. Correct. All right. Keep making our way into this temple. Uh-huh. So in this dark space, get a new power for Freedan. We're also just going to fill up real quick. You know, Earthquaker. When he uses it, his enemy can't move for a long time. Uh, no. It's going to come in handy here. This is one of those classic get the power up to advance in the game freaking mechanics. Yep. Earthquaker <laughs> can now be used. <laughs> the Earthquaker is a dark power that can only be used by Freedan, the Dark Knight. This causes earthquakes. The enemy won't be able to move for a long time. Push the attack button when jumping down. Thank you, Grandma Gaia. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's boot scoot back down here. I love watching Freedan's cape flow in the wind. 
His legs look like little baby legs. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of like the sketch from Rick and Morty. Yeah, Quinta, you know, gotta love him. Okay. First time we're gonna get to use our Earthquaker. Okay, whoops. Alright, so that... Butthead right there, he'll block your way. So... And won't be hittable. Yeah, and will not be hittable, so we're gonna Earthquake him. And there you go. Yep, through the next part of the temple. Yep, now you're able to advance. Whoops. Hmm, worked out fine. Yeah. Wasn't the end of the world anyway. Okay. Whoops. I don't know why I keep getting surprised there's an enemy around the corner. Okay, we're gonna go up first. Yeah, free dance strength really comes in handy in Anchor Watt. Because Young Will obviously is kind of a wiener. Yeah. Alright. Nice health bonus. Yeah, so you can see this dungeon just got a little bit easier. But with free dance, the two health increases, the dark spaces all over the place. Alright, found a red jewel. I'm just gonna get rid of that real quick. Bust on into the rest of this dungeon. Yep. All right, a little power increase. Mm -hmm. All these bonuses in rapid succession. Pretty nice deal. Yeah. Okay, now. Yeah. So there's four Gorgon enemies that we can kill here right away. We want to go ahead and do that. One key here is do not use the Earthquaker, because then you won't be able to attack these guys. As they will be stun locked with their heads you know, attached to their bodies. Another thing about them, you want to kill the head before it gets back to the body, because if you don't, the HP of the head will re regenerate, and you'll be forced to start over in the, the killing sequence. Yeah, it's the killing sequence. I know, I was kind of thinking that sounded kind of rough when I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a Stephen King novel. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that one through before it came out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Got rid of those guys. Let's the last enemy you can't reach for now. I feel like there's a skeleton around here on the other side of the temple, maybe? On the ground? Uh, actually, I think that you're right. I think I spotted it while we were over there Let's earlier. Just take a look around real quick. Aha. The bones of a lost explorer. Fascinated by something? Read the journal. Angkor Wat. Research record. Freezer. There is a temple where a spirit is said to live. In the main hall, second floor, a bright room blocks the way. You must go through it to reach the top floor. The bright light masks the corridor. If you want to meet the spirit, you must wear the black crystal glasses. I saw something shining on the ground near the main hall, but I had to run. Probably the glasses from the legend. I regret coming here. I hope my child can carry on my dream. Jeez. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and say one of the main themes of this uh, game is death and redemption. Or just death. <laughs> but yeah. Um, or like, you know, carrying on the dream of a, lo of a, of a lost relative. It seems to be... Whew, this game It's dark. It is. So a treasure chest there, we can't access it quite yet. But we will soon. Get away from me. Okay, they're heading back to their home. 
Go back to your home. <laughs> Nice. It all turned out great. Yeah. I think you want to yeah. keep going first, yeah. Up there is the second hall, uh, fl uh, the bright hallway that he was just speaking of. Which, you know, obviously, can't really take care of at this moment. We just gotta wait a second here for the those heads to come back. Mm-hmm. They will come. Yes, they will. I have to traverse the whole room first. Mm-hmm. Come on, evil bastard. Right. It was worth it. Definitely worth it. Strength increase. Okay. Defense increase. Okay, good deal. Oh, see the sparkle. There's something shiny on the ground. I think they reused that same exact sprite for Chrono Trigger. You found the black crystal glasses. I doubt it. I bet it was upgraded in Chrono Trigger. Yeah, probably. But it's a similar idea. The little flash on the ground for the pieces of magic that oh, you would for find. Sure. Yeah. Or the capsules, I should say. And there's a lot capsules. of games. So yeah, they use that. Like yeah, that. that's true. All right. So we got the glasses. So the key with the glasses is you have so, to equip them. Yeah, we're gonna put them on right now. There we go. These are glasses made of black crystal. They can cut out a lot of light. Indeed. So here, setting. F one foot inside, the floating crystal started to glow. So if I didn't have the glasses on, it'd be completely white in here. You wouldn't be able to see anything. So, just for the sake of expediency. I didn't realize that we put them on when we were down there. Yeah. Okay, so I think you go over here first. I believe you're correct. Woo! So here, obviously, we gotta change back to Will. Yep, to pro progress in the, uh, the level. Let's fill up real quick. On this top floor, you'll understand why you made the journey. Okay. We Thanks, will, Gaia. We will not record. Yes. We will return to Young Will. Okay, now that we're back to Young Will, we just gotta run back around to the stairway. Baby legs. Mm -hmm. Looking like Chrono. Does kind of look like Chrono. Okay. Dang, he's a lot stronger already. Yeah. Let's see here. I think we can just go ahead and head down there. Yep. Go down here real quick. Aha. Right. Red Jewel. Red Jewel. Okay. All right. Let's see. Yep, head back to the stairway. I'm not going to show what it looks like without the uh, glasses on. Think that unequipped them? Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Uh, I guess it. Oh, nope, yep, sure it did. It. The, ah, I can't see. Can't see. Okay. And there you go. Much better. Yeah. 
So presumably that's what the adventurers saw. Presumably so. <laughs> no. Is that it's the last hole we needed to drop down, or is there another one? I think that was it. Uh, yeah, I think that's, uh... That's it. So we just head on up the stairs, then. Yep. Going pretty well so far. I gotta agree with you. Aside from the one death, but... That's the brakes. Plus we only went back like 30 steps. Yeah. More enemies down and around the other way? Uh, I think so. Looks like it to me. Distracted you at the wrong time. Mm hmm. The skills! <laughs> <laughs> uh, these guys. Gotta kill them all, it's like Pokemon. Right. Now that our slide attack is a little bit more powerful from the attack bonuses, it, it really becomes the expedient way to kill things. Yeah, you can actually kill those pink skulls in one. One attack. Okay. Looking sharp. Okay, I'm gonna go up. So to get those other guys, we're gonna have to jump down. Aha! Yes, yeah, so everything has become easier. I think we want to go kill the rest of that stuff first, though. My brain serves as a reminder. Yeah, everything's at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there might be something around the rest of the way, too. I'll check real quick. Ah, indeed. Aha, a red jewel. So that's all four red jewels for this area. Jam the Jewel Collector should now have 41 jewels. Just imagine his day. Hey, Red Jewel. Hey, Red Jewel. <laughs> wow, Will's doing a great job. It's not a lie. <laughs> okay. Go for the shins. That's the key. That's the ticket scene. Mm -hmm. Mid hop. Mm -hmm. Mid flute attack. Okay. I will, the wienery little flautist. Strongest flautist on the planet. <laughs> yeah, I guess he is, it's true. So, nothing to kill here, I don't think. Oh. I yeah, this think, looks like uh, the end of the temple. Okay. Will, I've been waiting for you to come for, a, for thousands of years. What? Who are you? I am dreaming. Time has passed since the dream began, and my body became what you see. I'm going to show you a strange image. Close your eyes. Whoa. Me City. What the heck? Wow, this is some Mode 7 to the extreme. Is that a big parking lot? There's definitely some cars and... Stuff? Yeah, it looked like some... Billboards. <laughs> huh? What was that? That is the new world. That world is all gray. This world has blue water, green mountains, brown earth all over. You will usher in that world. Me? Such a strange world? Tall trees replaced by buildings, rivers replaced by roads, 
billboards as far as the eye can see. <laughs> My god, it's Strip be malls. beautiful. <laughs> no matter what kind of world people have, if they think they're happy, they'll be happy. Jeez. <laughs> Go to the village and restore those turned to stone to their original condition. Release those who have been turned gray back to their natural state. All right, spirit dude, we got you. When the blinding light stopped, I stood quietly as if nothing had happened. Then I found the Gorgon flower held tightly within my hand. Hmm. You have the Gorgon flower. Whew. Quite a long dungeon. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, make our way out. But uh, we're going to meet you at the end of this temple instead of showing uh, the trek all the way out of here. Okay, well, we have uh, made our way out of here. We're going to go back to the native village. Yep, Anchor Wat has been defeated. No statue, unfortunately, but that's okay. Head on back to the native village here. Mm-hmm. Making our way across Asia. Went to the Great Wall, went to Angkor Wat. It's going great. Okay. Let's go get these stone girls turned back to normal. Okay. Go in here. Puts one petal of the Gorgon flower on the statue. I use sign language to talk to the villagers. The animals have returned to the forest. They no longer prey on each other. Nice. The girl silently offers a red jewel as a reward. Will gets a red jewel. Labor traders came from a town in the northwest. They took many villagers. I can't believe they would take advantage of people stricken with famine. Travel to the labor trader's village? I guess so. Okay, let's get going. Well, thanks so much for watching. Wrapped up Anchor Wat. That was a fun episode. Leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Till next time, keep those buttons moving. <laughs>